I'm here in New York City. Before I leave on this trip, I gotta see my attorney and I gotta get my passport back. So I'm heading to Times Square of all places to meet with Bramden Blant Jr., my attorney. And once I get that passport, I'm out of here. Got the passport? Jesse DeStasio. Nobody's gonna believe I'm Italian. DeStasio? Oh, uh, Japan. Do you have any tips, uh, things I need to watch out for when I'm over in Asia? Oh, yeah. Uh, tips. As my attorney, do you want to advise me on anything? The sharp hibachi skewers. Okay. That's what you gotta be careful with because they're everywhere. They don't warn you when you go to the restaurants. Okay. They will stick you. Anything else? Any um, political turmoil or uh, kidnapping threats or anything I need no, to be wary of? It's good. It's good. Here in uh, Shimsha Shui and seeking out something that is gone extinct in the United States. And I'm going to show you exactly what that is in a few moments. It exists. Hong Kong, day two. Yesterday, I went to Toys R Us. Um, that was kind of disappointing, I gotta be honest. I remember going to that Toys R Us in the harbor, you know, probably 15 years ago, and it having all this amazing product I'd never seen before from the Asian markets. And I have to be, you know, completely honest in that yesterday it felt like the majority of product that was there was just dumped from the store closings in the U.S. There was a lot of, um sort of uh, late SKUs that kind of were in the Toys R Us system in the States that didn't really see such a wide release. And it feels like all that inventory got shifted over to the stores. And there was very little kind of unique um, Japanese SKUs. And that's too bad because that was something I was looking forward to. So sort of bittersweet that there is still a Toys R Us out there. Um, I, I know other countries still have Toys R Us as well. Um, but that uh, there wasn't really anything terribly interesting or unique to buy. Kind of sucks. Uh, but I shouldn't be buying stuff anyway because once I get to Japan, uh, there's going to be so much, so many toys to cram into my luggage, which already uh, space is at a premium for. Uh, so today I'm going to meet Kit Lau. We're going to have some coffee. And then I'm going to go over to Mongkok and hit up the toy malls over there. So it's going to be a big day. There's a lot to see. It's really hot out. Hopefully today we get a little bit of break in the weather. Um, and uh, if I'm crazy enough, I just might go to the gym here. Who knows? We'll see. Very interesting, very secret though. 
can't show you anything. There's a naked Hulk right over there. Wow. Well, I'm here in Dongguan. Just got done with my first factory meeting. I'm now at my hotel and uh, looking forward to meeting number two. These are the uh, molds for Shikan the Forever Man. See the sword. See Shikan's head right there. His hat. Big, heavy piece of machinery. You can't do it in that in the shop. So this is Paul's injection shop. All of this is the plastic right here that gets turned into action figures, right? No, they are they are required. This is all the plastic pellets, original plastic. Yeah. They are the required, but we never use it. Gotcha. And then these are the tools over here. All the molds. Yeah. And then that's the machine right there. Oh. Yeah. Uh, this is good for PVC. Yeah. Especially for those. We have a very tiny spread. Yeah. Right. That one, uh, that type of machine is the best. This is a normal one. And then over here is the raw materials, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the plastic right there. It goes in, it gets superheated, right? Superheated, yeah. And then it's injected. You can pick this one. Via a piston, yeah. Look at that. Don't touch the panel. Okay. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, uh, very tired, you see that? Then you can take a picture. Yeah. Look at that. So this is the uh, the pigment, how the, we match the colors. So you put in the base material in and then the pigments. Pigment, and then, yeah, basically. And then... Uh, this is a trimming machine. We After we inject all the required, we put it here. Yeah. Based on the law, we have to trim it. Sure. Like like this. And then you get this scrap that you can use for tests later, right? Uh, I don't know. Where, normally, we just we throw it away. It. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. This is uh, why it's different from ours. So I'm walking around Akiba, and uh, it is pretty deserted. It's about 7.30 a.m. Nothing's gonna open until 9 or 10, but uh, it's still cool to see. Organize all these crazy uh, high-rises in the back. But uh, yeah, good to be here.
right, it's the day I've been waiting for my entire life. Going to Superfest. Been to Wonderfest. Went last year with Nikki. That was overwhelming and amazing. Great. However, Superfest is the vintage toy version. So I'm very excited to see the show today. And you're going to come with me. madhouse here folks we're live at Superfest everybody's coming in everybody's running around it's uh, the most exercise you'll get all year long day in Japan and uh, I'm gonna spend it by having lunch with thousand toys and then I'm going to toy cats which is a store owned by Ishisan who is the man who literally wrote the book on microman this is a uh, this is another lifelong dream that we're about to unlock holy cow we're here at Kanika man toy fest such a coincidence my last full day here in Japan that there's a Kanika man celebration how wonderful let's go buy some toys
we have arrived at Toy Cats. This is the holy mecca for Microman fans. Let's go inside. Finally back in the States and I just want to say thank you for watching this vlog. If you want to see more behind-the-scenes stuff, check out my Patreon. And the only thing left to say is pizza out.